good morning. We are getting ready to go to the hunt club and you can hear my whining, excited dog, Vail. We're gonna go, we're getting ready, okay? She's a little excited this morning. We are headed to the hunting club. It'll be today and tomorrow. Bill's going to be riding the tractor, cutting the fields, getting everything ready for plant. I'm going to be the drink girl. I get to ride around in our Pioneer with the dogs and take him drinks as he's needed. So let's get this day started, and you're coming along. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. Here we go. We have about a two hour drive to the hunting club. I'm not like super comfortable hauling <laughs> a trailer. So what he's doing now, to kind of give you an idea, we're going to be planting over the next few weeks, and I'm going to bring y'all for that too. But he has to, because all the green fields are really high, so he's going to cut all of it down, so that way when they come in and till it up, that'll be the next step, and then we plant and then they'll cover that up so that the seed can grow. Do you see the spider? Do you see the spider? Do you see the spider? Spider. So, that way we can plant. While he's working, I'll just sit here and enjoy myself.
That is it. This build is done. On to the next build. Aspen hates riding. Don't you pumpkin? Belle wants it. But she knows to sit down while we're going slow. Because that usually means that we're going to be bouncing around. sure if the camera picked up but I let Aspen I told Bill I said she's miserable we will let her ride with her so she's gonna ride through this and then when he gets back up on the road he's gonna give her back to me she was so excited her tail is a wagon she loves riding the tractor you ever seen a multi poo that loves to ride a tractor she's a country multi poo it's lunch time I am headed to go get lunch if you're ever in Vernon Alabama not that I would think why you would ever want to come to Vernon, Alabama. But if you are, there is a little cafeteria. It's a meet and three. Uh, it's called Max's. Oh, they have the best pork chops and fried okra out of this world. The first time that we went there, we went and uh, I got a meet and two, Bill got a meet and two, and he got a dessert. And we both got water got up to the thing and rang it up and the lady goes like $11.50 and Bill goes oh no we're, I, I'm buying both meals she said oh that is for both where the heck can you buy two meat and twos and a dessert for $11.50 and in Vernon Alabama headed there now so it was $10 and 50 cents they didn't have any pork chops Ugh. but fried chicken and okra, which is really hot because I had to lay down to cook it. But, oh my gosh. That is so good. We're about to have a tailgate. just a gopher. Had to go get the uh, diesel fuel. The last field we're going to do today. It is so hot. This is a green field that's on a uh, power line. I'd already turned off the camera, which this one's still here. But another one came up and was going to land on my arm. I love butterflies. <clears throat> I think they're so pretty. This one, I don't think we can pass.
So I wanted to have a little talk to y'all about hunting. We just happen to want to get take our own meat. We eat deer meat all year long. That's all we eat. We do not eat any red meat other than a steak that we buy at the grocery store. Other than that, everything we make, we make with deer meat. One, it's more lean. Two, it's organic. How you can't get much more organic than it living in the woods. We don't kill to just kill. That's just not how we are. Are there hunters that do that? Yes, and absolutely. But that's not our choice. We just kill enough to fill our freezer to eat. Then once we do that, we just horn hunt. And I mean, it's got to be bigger than the last one that we killed before we will kill one. That's probably why I have so many videos on my phone of deer as I just let them walk. So I hope that makes you understand where I come from. I know everybody's views on this is different and I respect everyone's views and I will not put any of us killing anything on this channel because I respect other people's beliefs on that. We're packing up this morning to go finish. We had need to seed the fields, lime them and everything. And I really wasn't planning on taking the dogs today just because it's so hard to watch them and us do this. But look at this face. She keeps giving me the sad eyes and begging. Who can say no to that? So now I'm going to let them go. It's going to be hard. <laughs> oh, wait. Do you see something new? The camper is back. Which you'll probably already know that by the time I print this video because I'll probably have some other videos that I'm fixing to put together. Um, yeah, the camper's back, finally. After, what, eight weeks? This is our son's field and it sucks. It's really long and narrow. So we've thrown lime, thrown fertilizer, and then we threw seed and now he's just kind of covering the seed up so that it will sprout. That's hard. Two more fields to go. He's just got to turn this under and that'll be field two done. One more to go. 
We are packed up, ready to head home. Finished planting. It has been hot and a long day, especially after doing the mud run yesterday. Till next time.